said, go back to your church. The pastor said, no, I got to see about y'all. He said, no, you don't have to see about me now. He said, well, God, my hope is built on nothing less. In Jesus' love and his righteousness. I got a hope. I got faith. I got trust in the Lord. Oh, my, my, my Lord. So the pastor walked out the door. And just a few days later, in walked Jim. He kneeled down at the altar. And he said, Lord, this is Jim. And I just come to tell you, my hope was in you. Because I realized that one of these old days, it won't be very long. If I keep my hope all in you, I'll see you. I'll meet my matchmaker just one day. So I come to tell you today, no matter what you've done in your life, no matter what people said about you, no matter what folk done to you, you keep your hope in God. God will come see about you. He'll be there like a thief in the night. He'll be there. He'll come see about you. I heard the word say, he'll be a Jehovah Jireh, your provider. He'll be a Jehovah Nisi, because he reigns victory. He'll be a Jehovah Shiloh, your prince of peace. He'll be a Jehovah Rapha, your healer. He'll be your king, your king, and your Lord of Lords. He will, he will come see about you. It's time for us to do what we said we were going to do. It's time for us to keep all the hope that God has granted us. Stop being scared of everything. Well, the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. Well, He has given us the spirit of love. The spirit of peace and the spirit of our sound. Yeah. Keep the hope that God has granted you. Amen. Don't you know your hope is what gets you to the next level? Well. Amen. Yes, you might say, well, I thought the Bible said faith. Yes, well. faith is the substance of things hoped for. Amen. When you have faith, you still got to have some hope to boost up your faith. Amen. Without works faith is dead Amen. Yes. and what that means is that works part is your hope your trust in God do you believe what God said he would do will you take God at his word will you follow him if he leads you no matter what you do keep the hope that God has given you I've given you what God has given me Homecoming celebration. Keep on the hope God has granted you. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. I would like to open the doors of the church. If you are one today that doesn't know God in the part of your sins, realizing that he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle, and you want to see him one day, would you come? God is still in the saving business. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. If not, if you are one of those that down through the years you have been saved and your hope was kind of shaken and you want to reunite yourself with Christ. Jesus said he was married to the backslider. All you gotta do is give your life to Christ. He'll be there for you. If not, 
If there's anyone that needs special prayer, when I say special prayer, I mean you want to intercede for someone else. Prayer works. The prayers of the righteous man. Bible says we know that he heareth not sinners but if any man be a worshiper of Christ him he heareth amen so, so, so if you're if you're a sinner today and you're still a worshiper God hears you but if you're a sinner and not a worshiper Bible says he heareth not your word. People get that scripture messed up all the time. God doesn't hear a sinner's prayer. That's not true. Because if God didn't hear a sinner's prayer, no man would be saved. Because the Bible says you gotta confess of your sin. And if you're confessing unto God, that means you're telling him that you are a sinner. Yes. And the Bible says if you confess with your mouth, God will save you. Yes. So he does hear the prayer of a sin. But you got to be a worshiper of Christ. Yes. There's no intercessory prayer. We ask that all that will and all that can the altar today we're going to pray as a church I believe that the church that prays together will stick together I believe that the church that prays together there is unity